We're hearing from the family of a boy who died in that head-on crash on the Dauphin Island Bridge yesterday. Several of his relatives are still in the hospital. As WKRG News 5's Caitlin Burke, a Catherine Brook learned the family was in town to celebrate the boy's birthday. Logan Manuel Ramirez would have turned seven this week. His family visiting from Arkansas is now mourning a life cut short. We were going to go thrift shopping, but then we decided not to. And my mom, we needed to go to Walmart because my little brother Logan's birthday was on Friday and we were going to make him a birthday cake. Sister Marley Hocott was at the family's condo when she got a Life 360 notification on her phone about the crash. Hocott says she'll remember her brother as a funny, spontaneous little boy. He really is funny and he could dance. He could dance like we could not dance. <laughs> Ramirez was one of six people in a truck that collapsed collided head on with a car on Dauphin Island Bridge Monday afternoon. Hocott's mother and stepfather were among those injured in the truck. The driver of the car was killed. The Alabama Law Enforcement Agency identified her as 61 year old Mary Hawkins of Mobile. Dolphin Island Mayor Jeff Collier says tragedies like this hit the entire community hard. It's, it's, it's devastating to, all, like as I said, all the people involved, not only with the accident, but their families, but also the entire Dolphin Island community is adversely affected about this because it's just, you know, no one certainly wants to see this type of tragedy take place. The cause of the crash remains under investigation. On Dolphin Island, Catherine Brook, WKRG News 5.